and also for the ones who don't know, uh, so Leo Club are the youth wing of Lions International, the renowned organization. So uh, what we do at Leo Club is basically um, hone our own skills, abilities, along with helping the society to uh, get a better shape for a better future. So um, yeah, that was just a one-liner for that. And um, also, I'm a student of MSc Part 1 from the FISA Department, Bioanalytical Sciences Department of uh, Guru Nanak Khalsa College. And um, it is a moment of pleasure for me to welcome you all to Dream It, Be It, a collaboration of Leo Club of GN Khalsa College and five years integrated course of Bioanalytical Sciences Department, Guru Nanak Khalsa College. Um, also, I am uh, highly honored to introduce and welcome the guest of honor for the session in absentia, uh, Dr. Kiran Mangaukar, sir, the principal of Guru Nanak Khalsa College, uh, Dr. Sukhjit Gujral, ma'am. She is the associate professor of chemistry department and the head of uh, GNIRD wing. And uh, Dr. Mrs. Swaranji Chima, madam, she is the HOD of uh, botany department and an associate professor at Guru Nanak Khalsa College. So uh, we are highly uh, indeed full of gratitude to have you all joining here with us today. Um, also, uh, 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 just to put it out there, a couple of days ago, uh, we had we lucked out to have this opportunity to meet this ball of energy. And uh, the experience that we underwent uh, and forced us to come up with this webinar for everyone out there. It is just our attempt to bring out, uh, to bring your way the energy um, the zest, the vibes that we felt. And um, I might not be making any sense right now, but by the end of the session, you all will exactly know what I'm talking about. And uh, without further giving more details, I would like to request Dr. Sukhjit Gujral, ma'am, to please introduce uh, the speaker of honor for the session. So ma'am, uh, over to you. Yes, good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to this webinar. Today is a very auspicious festival of Onam, so wishing all of you all a very happy and prosperous Onam. It is a very proud day because the Leo Club of Guru Nanak Khalsa College in collaboration with five years integrated course of bioanalytical sciences. Today is along with, I think that ECO is one partner, is hosting this wonderful program a program of self-motivation because we are going to meet and know Dr. Natarajan in a much better way today. So it is my proud privilege to introduce Dr. Natarajan to the whole audience. Before I just do this honors, I would like to welcome sir to Guru Nanak Khalsa College. Sir, we are uh, Aditya Jyot, one hospitalist in Matunga and we have a close association with them also, yeah. So it's my proud privilege to introduce Dr. Natarajan to us, who is a Padam Shri, a Guinness Book of a Record awardee also. So he has been a vitro retinal surgeon since the year 1984. That's a long inning, sir. He's a chartered member of Retina Hall of Fame. He has been the president of TOISI, Sankara Netrale Elimini, that is efforts. Previously, he has been the president of so many national organizations associated in this area. He is the worldwide secretary general of GEGC, the board trustee, uh, ICO, and board member of ISOT. Professor Dr. Natarajan is the Guinness World Record holder for screening the maximum number of diabetic retinoplasty cases in Asia's largest urban slum, which is Dharavi in Mumbai, as you know. And in the short span of eight hours, he has the expertise to take over 649 patients. He has been awarded the Padam Shri by the government of India, by the president and a state award by the government of Jammu and Kashmir for his meritorious public service. Sir has done more than 60,000 vitro retinal surgeries and has given more than 2,500 
invited guest lectures all over the world in so many countries, nook and corner of this world. He has authored more than four books and he has got more than 100 peer reviewed publications. That's a, that's a huge, huge merit, sir. He is currently the managing trustee of Aditya Jodh Foundation for Twinkling Little Eyes, and uh, which is a non-profit NGO serving economically weaker section of the society by arranging free medical camps. And when we say free medical camps, can you imagine? He has conducted more than 3,500 such free medical camps. Sir, bade dildar hai. Wow. He has touched 8 million lives in screening and more than 2 lakh of slum houses all over the place. Wow. Sir, we welcome you because here is one pay person who is so very enterprising. He has used his expertise, his uh, in, in this particular field and taken care of millions of poor slum workers and taking care of their operations for the eye. What is that, sir, that gives you this, ignites this kind of spark for you in you that you do so much seva? What is the motivation be, uh, behind this? How you have this perseverance to go through so many years in your life without uh, losing little bit of that seva, sir. Itni seva bhav kaan se laate hai. Hamare Guru Mukhi mein kaa jate hai. Guru Granth Sahib has said that seva kana bahut bahut uch kaam hai, sir. Aur ye saare dharmo mein kaha hai, sir. Where you find this inspiration, and with this inspiration, I'm sure you are going to encourage our Leo Club members of all the students towards doing seva, nish kaam seva, kaise karna hai? Kaise isko aapne jeevan mein with this brief introduction, here we have got a Padam Shri awardee, Dr. Natarajan with us to take you through this journey today. And I'm sure the students are going to feel encouraged, inspired, motivated to remain committed for Seva. Welcome to Khalsa College, sir. It's our proud privilege to have you here. So on behalf of the department, Runana Khalsa College, and the management of Khalsa College, sir, welcome, happy Onam, Sat Srika. Thank you, Sat Srika. So uh, I love the Golden Temple. So my inspiration is uh, Swami Vivekananda. So I'll read, I'll start it. I, I didn't plan it, but I'll start with this. The, it says, ours not to reason why, ours but to do and die. Be of good cheer and believe that we are selected by the Lord to do great things and we will do that. So that's my inspiration. And plus, uh, we are, I, I keep telling this, we are from a parampara, my father, grandfather, and maybe great grandfather. What the right hand does, the left hand should not know. And the same place, uh, we also have a king called the Pari, Parivalavan, I think. He actually, uh, when his uh, chariot got stuck, the, by the time they came back from a palace to take it back because the wheel got stuck into the mud, the plant had already grown into the wheel, into the, his chariot. And you know what he did? He donated that uh, chariot to the plant. He said, when the plant is growing, so he, that's how they, we have been trained from school, younger days. So when you're coming back to my uh, topic, I wish you all a happy Onam. And yesterday was Varalakshmi uh, Puja. The Varalakshmi is the god, uh, goddess of Lakshmi, goddess of wealth. And uh, so I actually gave the topic, uh, how to be wealthy, famous, and still be humble. And uh, that's why I love uh, Golden Temple. And so many of my patients have given me that Golden Temple, uh, that uh, email of that uh, gold leaf. And, uh, and the main thing is, I think I learned one thing from uh, the, uh, uh, the Gurudwara is about uh, Langar. So I have this roti bank, the, this one which is uh, 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 belongs to the uh, my, like a Shivananda, who's my uh, best friend, and he is the managing trustee. Every day we give 11,000 meals free outside KM Hospital, uh, the slums, then uh, Tata Cancer Hospital. So I have this book, which I, I think I hope I've given it to Ditti and others. So I have got this uh, 
uh, holy grant of uh, i'll start with that being a kalsa college the holy six scripture the guru granth sahib love god and remember him by name uh, by any name allah ram govind christ guru so i think he is a great example so i understood the philosophy of uh, uh, guru govind and so happened uh, i am associated with a lot of uh, guru nanak faculty including the previous principal and the current principal too and i believe uh, my current principal i was in ruya college before and probably helped my son so with this i'll start my talk i'm sharing the screen so i thank echo india because uh, we have a, a mou with uh, echo india as a president of tele ophthalmic uh, society so i also want uh, dipti to keep uh, in between reminding me about the time because once uh, sometimes i keep uh, and uh, dipti experienced it last sunday when uh, she was the leo karaba president and then uh, she was supposed to address but i interrupted an address so you can interrupt me today dipti and also dr Ka dr kavita and dr chima so the topic chosen by them is dream it be it and i it really chose well because you can see the title slide prepared by dr sandhya gave the idea you know, i dreamt like this and i actually i am i am remembering this air india building which i used to tell my son we should create an institute like air india building because i saw the research institute in boston and also the mit the, the building stands so tall and why not we create it and get out of it that's my dream so one day we'll do it and get out of it so this was a what talk i gave to a coach in of the medical club for the junior eye doctors so they said what is the amazing work you have done in the clinical academic training research business leadership philanthropic aspects of ophthalmology which i will be going through so what we are, what we are as a society people of same matter with the, each having immense potential with each child the world begins a new and uh, so because we are the thinkers researchers healers with these capabilities we choose our paths the healers can include doctors and all the people because as a son you are a healer to your father as a father you are a healer to your son, uh, son and so on like the mother and daughter wife husband so one step must start each journey so the just like po the panda i too had a humble beginning in the small temple town of madurai where yesterday was that puttu tiruvala maybe you should do a, a google search on what is that puttu is a thing which was given you know, during the festival yesterday and i was born in that uh, star a uh, few years back and this is uh, the po the panda and uh, it is like my life so this is my father and mother and myself in the and i am happy even that time i am smiling but i remember uh, a bit before the 3 or 4 years old i was a crying child what is the meaning that means i was all the time uh, if my rubber is missing or pencil is missing or i lose a carrom board or i lose a shuttle with my father i used to cry so my father used to beat me and i still remember i am happy i didn't become a rebel because he said why are you, why are you like this like a touch me not anything you, you are simply you are crying but i'm happy he made me a very happy child you can see all the photographs i'm showing my teeth and i'm happy this is my grandfather and grandmother that is my mother's father and mother and that's the hospital i started in the garage in a, so the first to attract me in the world was done in a garage so i'm happy where i also started my career in bombay in garage so this is my grandfather late dr nataraj pillai my father dr ns sundaram and he was the, both of them were studied in the same medical college the same uh, government eye hospital which is the oldest eye hospital in asia and uh, you can see that's my father and mother which uh, on their 50 Uh, second uh, birth anniversary sorry wedding anniversary they were with me and uh, and that's my guru dr badinath uh, we, uh, and my mentor we call him uh, my friend philosopher guy shivanandan and i always salute finally god so my four elements with their blessings i am a doctor and continuing you ask me the question what is that spark because i am associated with dr badinath who is a god's uh, Uh, angel and he is my mentor and who made me as a veterinary surgeon and he knows me from my childhood because my father and grandfather were eye doctors so i used to visit him so that was my father's great contribution to me every sunday we used to go to four or five family parents house and then uh, mr shivanand then he is everything for me i hope he is watching this i am not sure but either way he is my friend philosopher guide 
father, brother, grandfather, everything for me. And finally, God. So every day I do this. So we have three trees planted, one for my parents, one for my paternal parents and another for my uh, maternal parents. And then the paternal parent, he was, uh, he was because my May 1st was my grandfather's birthday, 1900. He came and planted the tree. So the entire thing is a motivation to the youth here. And Swami Vivekananda again believed that uh, the youth is tomorrow's India. And he told that in 1898, how true it is even in 2021, not just by preaching, neither by mentioning remarkable historic evolution, only nor by words of wisdom, but by sharing example of my own life along with the, the Kung Fu Panda, uh, combining effects of these three to inspire the beautiful mind like you are. And I hope... This is what uh, my good friend Dr. Abdul Kalam said, ignite the minds and ignite the youthful mind. Let me take this wonderful opportunity to share my story. I'm never tired of my story and I'm always enjoying. So a real warrior never quits. You can see the panda, who poor the panda, how he's not smiling and I'm smiling. And uh, see, there is no easy way to master it. That's the tigress which says. And it took tigress 20 years to develop fists of steel, 20 years of practicing Kung Fu and punching iron trees. Mastery is all about developing healthy habits, which will raise your chances of becoming successful, but that takes time and perseverance. And this is what you asked me, how I'm perseverantly serving people, but because every day I'm being, I won't say brainwashed, I'm imbibed this from my, probably the kings of uh, Tamil Nadu, from the scriptures, from the various religions, so I'm happy I've extracted whatever I wanted and used this extra time to develop a skill and perfect it. No shortcuts, only practice, practice, practice. And uh, yeah, I'm very proud of my parents for molding me into this position. And here uh, my uncles are there, but I'm wearing the tie with my cousin who actually uh, ran, runs the biggest uh, textile shop in Madras. Unfortunately, he died of an accident and that's my brother in the middle and then me. And uh, again, showing my teeth. So I'm thankful to my late father and mother and my great uh, grandfather who really my, like it gave me that idea. They put the seed when I was uh, even five years old. And my father, Dr. Anna Sundram, gift to me was education. And my mother gave me all the love, affection, food, and her support for my success. She was always uh, cheerful. Whatever I do, whatever mistakes I did, I am, I, I, I think uh, I'm emotional. What? I grew up in a government ophthalmic uh, eye hospital uh, uh, third gen as a third generation ophthalmologist. It is the same house, 10 Marshalls Road. My grandfather lived in 1930s to 40s. And my father lived from 1955. And I was born in 1957 in Madurai and then moved to this uh, compound. And you can believe, that uh, you can imagine that I grew up in that compound, breathing in and out only ophthalmology. So that's my problem. And I think for me, life is ophthalmology. And that's the compound, which is the oldest eye hospital in the, the second in the world and first in Asia and India. And you can see that. And the, still the building stand, uh, stands good. Thank God. I was the president of All India Ophthalmic Society, which is the largest ophthalmic society in the world and celebrated in 2019, 200 years of uh, glorious years of government eye hospital and ophthalmology. And we are the first eye, do eye doctor in the world. He was actually a regular surgeon called Shushusha in 600 BC, 2,600 years back, did the first cataract surgery. And right from my schooling days, I actually wanted to be an eye doctor because I was in the eye hospital compound. I was wearing tie since my childhood. I think it happened accidentally. And I'm glad my people didn't find my uh, uh, photographs where I don't wear any dress. And uh, so this is my education. And I'm glad I, I was doing my uh, opening my clinic and it was not a child labor. And I remember a lot of my friends uh, uh, used to tell, Are your father is making you work. No, I think uh, I was a boy in the room and I was putting drops to the patient. I still remember uh, once uh, an actress came that time and uh, she saw me outside and I was reading and she told me, she gave me that time my father's consulting fee was 10 rupees only. It was in 70s and uh, and then uh, she gave me 10 rupees as a tip and said you can take uh, and buy some what do you like i said no i don't want anything my father has given me anything and my father and mother taught me don't take any gift from anybody unless they give me permission i'll not even take a chocolate you know i hated chocolate 
and no wonder it has been said learn to be with the wise and your life will flow and glow my friends this is what i want to remind and uh, as a 10 year old i still remember i used to take my father's uh, ophthalmoscope the instrument which he used for checking the eye because my only patient was my uh, dog because he was patient really patient and the mistake i did was i saw my father using a needle and uh, removing the that uh, iron particles which falls on the people's eye because they don't use a protective goggle and then uh, the um, I used to remove it. So I used to put torch because they'll come at the night, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, whatever time. So I was, uh, I also, but he was putting some anesthesia drops, which I, I, I forgot to observe that. So I, I took a needle and touched the uh, dog's eye and suddenly I remember this and the dog uh, hit me. Fortunately, it was a pet dog, but I still, he didn't bite me, but he hit it with his paw and only scratched the cheek, but nothing happened. But uh, it was my pet dog. So I was a captain of the football team, an athletic team. So I followed, and uh, according to my principal at that time, a neurosurgeon, Dr. Ramurthy said, sound mind in a sound body, and which is what uh, I was an athletic champion. And this is probably a third prize, I think, in that one, one of the team. But I was a 10 kilometer champion, an athletic team captain, and a football captain. So I could play everything. So my physiology professor uh, told me, how can you have a fast muscle and a uh, slow muscle if you... Uh, if any of the people can read the athlete, the fast runner like Usain Bolt, his muscles will be different. The the there's the thing called the Krebs cycle, which is the muscle, which will be different. And then uh, there is a fast muscle, which is for, for for the sprinters, and for long distance the muscle will be different. And uh, so this is as an athletic captain, I carried the Olympic torch. That is the time first vice chancellor of uh, Tamil Nadu MGR University, and that's the director of medical education. And me representing MMC stands for Madras Medical College, which is again 190 years old. And uh, our medical college, our government general hospital is uh, 335 years old, which is started in 16th century. And my inspiration that a yad bhavam tad bhavati, you become what you think. So this is what is that, and I think it's there in Bible, thou shall be, it is there in Sanskrit, tadastu. So my friends, please always think what you want and always think, think positive. What does that mean? I don't want you to use the word, I, I'm sorry, again, using the negative word, don't want. So I want you to only think what you want. Okay, so the power of thought. So I was inspired this visionary V.G. Panir Das. If anybody has crossed the Cyan uh, Medical College, but uh, uh, turning towards the main road to uh, Dharavi, there is a shop called VGP. It will be black and yellow. And uh, who uh, dream? I knew him from my childhood. Who's uh, who made the first hire purchase in the in the country? And uh, he actually was selling transistor, costing hundred rupees in 1965. To the people there and the vegetable fellows will have a transistor and they were paying only 50 paisa a day so that was the hair purchase uh, he propagated and that time he had only two shops in uh, madras and now they have so many they have the vgp golden beach they have uh, the uh, the what do you call theme park so on so he told me that you convert your dream into a prayer so my prayer was i should become in i prayed in tamil non or petra nalla kan translates into, I want to become the best internationally renowned eye doctor. I don't know how I got this. My father and grandfather never traveled abroad, but thanks to Mr. Viji Panidas, who's no more, but his brother, uh, who's my uncle, uh, in the sense, uh, as a kid. So I'm glad my father paid at 232 rupees a year to make me a doctor. And that's the greatness of my government of Tamil Nadu. So our my friend and best friend, uh, Amarashen Shivaji Rao Gekwad, who became a superstar in the world, not only in Tamil Nadu, Rajinikan told, I am born in uh, Maharashtra, I lived in Karnataka, and the finally the Tamil uh, uh, Bhumi gives, gave, gave me everything for him. Similarly, I was born in Madurai, lived in Madras, educated in Madras at those, those days, and now the Karma Bhumi, Bombay has given me everything, name, fame, money, all of you and my entire team of my hospital. So I completed my post-graduation in ophthalmology from University of Madras in 1984. And uh, after which I pursued my fellowship in veterinary surgery, uh, oh, how many minutes? And uh, at Shankar Netralaya by the legend, he's a living legend, Padma Bhushan, 
Dr. Srinivasa Sengamayadu Badrinath, who trained me. And I'm thankful to my father, who took this microscope and gave me in 1982, when I just joined postgraduate in ophthalmology in Government Eye Hospital. And nobody was using a microscope except Dr. Badrinath, and maybe few in the country, maybe Dr. Madan Mohan. And I, he gave me to practice in the uh, hospital. And I think that's the greatness. And then I assisted. This is why I remember I remember Punjab and Dr. Daljit Singh is a household name in the entire Punjab. And he lived in Amritsar. He used to get up at two o'clock in the morning and uh, three o'clock he started surgery. And he, can you believe he made this uh, lens called iris claw lens. You can see that on the eye, which is an artificial intraocular lens, one of the pioneers in the world. And he do, did it with a doctor called Dr. John Wurst. W O R S T. So he called his lens as a uh, uh, Daljit worst lens. So everybody used to think it's the worst lens. Unfortunately, it produced complication, and both of them used uh, steel sutures in the eye, which is uh, totally unconventional. And anybody who's uh, a great uh, man like Einstein, like Dr. Daljit Singh, and their children have made a big hospital, uh, Ravijit Singh, Hindu Singh. Uh, Kiranjit Singh from Amritsar, if you go there. And I, I actually, he was my fan. Even though I was young, maybe 20 or 25 years younger to him, he was a professor when I met him because I assisted him in 1983 when he came to Madras. And I decided to be a cornea surgeon, intraocular lens uh, implant surgeon, and uh, removing cataract. This was a triple procedure I wanted to be. And for that, I went to Dr. Badinath, but he made me a vitreoretinal surgeon. No regrets. Because what I can do, many cannot do in the world even today. And that's Dr. Badinath when he visited to Bombay along with the uh, doctor in Bombay here. And uh, the, uh, this is my teacher. The mediocre teacher tells, the good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher like my, my Dr. Badinath inspires. And he's inspired me so much because it is one of the biggest philanthropic institutions in the world and which is the number one in India. And it was, these words are given by William Arthur, but Dr. Badinath is a great teacher. I hope these words uh, inspire the principal and the faculty to inspire more students. And uh, clinically, I think I was trained as uh, one of the world's best veterinary surgeon, even in 1984. And uh, 85 to 88, I was a junior most consultant. I had the yeah, highest experience as the youngest veterinary surgeon in the world, thanks to Dr. Badinath. In 86, this great man, Dr. Jaja Jovanovich, uh, uh, he was a Yugoslavian by birth. He was born in a city or a country called Montenegro now, and that time part of Yugoslavia. Unfortunately, Yugoslavia is uh, uh, divided into five countries now, Serbia, Croatia, and uh, Montenegro. And where he was born in a small town called Herzegnovi. He was born to an eye doctor. and. Uh, at the age of 33, he became eye doctor. And uh, I, the greatness of him, I don't know how, Dr. Badinath called him, he inspired me, and, and he is called the father of modern vitreoretinal surgery. And that's the greatness of my guru. He introduced me to the, the guru's gurus to me, his own guru, Dr. Charles Kippens. But Dr. Jovanovich changed my uh, thinking because he recognized me when he came to the Shankaranathala to see me operating. He said, you have a golden fingers, and Dr. Badinath repeated it. So that's why, uh, my uh, dear students, I want you to say that continuously keep getting blessings from your teachers, and that's important. You can see later he came to uh, our own hospital. You can see Dr. Sharma, who's an anesthetist now, he's about 72 years old, and then Dr. Joan, which is around 85 years old, and they all they are alive. Whenever I go to Montenegro, he drives me. And then I went to a city called Port, Port Goricha. And he told me, how the hell you found this airport? Well, I myself didn't know there's an airport like that because I had to land. And it was a big task to go to uh, Montenegro. But amazing. He came to Mumbai, Bombay that time, several times to teach vitreoretinal surgery to me and to all the eye doctors of India. And so the constant inspiration. There is a question. Uh, uh, professor asked me, so Swami Vivekananda says, same thing I'm repeating, I feel like I'm Swami Vivekananda when I'm telling, stand up, be bold, be strong, take the whole responsibility on your own shoulders and know that you are the creator of your own destiny. He said, 
you create your destiny with your fingers with your hand so friends don't tell me i am born in a poor family middle class family my father is so and so my father is a watchman my father is a uh, what you call rickshaw puller whatever my father so what my father was eye doctor grandfather was eye doctor but they didn't give me money they gave me education they gave me wisdom they gave me blessing so i think that's important then in the business angle so in 1988 i was offered the position of head of vitreoretinal surgery and i came and i performed 1500 retinal surgeries till 90 and that was a platform which showed the world that i am a great vitreoretinal surgeon even though i was a vitreoretinal surgeon in madras you won't believe all the surgeries were at that time double my age but they could not do what i could do and there is no government here there is no garb here there is no i think the sense of accomplishment is here so i want you to be bold as some vivekananda said if you are great why can't you tell you are great so be tell yourself but unfortunately i hope the chairman mr bharat aparya knows this that lack of latest instruments for retinal surgery which gave rise to aditya jyothai hospital in 1990 and i think i give credit to mr bharat aparya who is my good friend because he didn't give me what i wanted so i struggled for it i am sorry i earned uh, that i should start aditya jyot aditya means sun god who gives light to the world jyot means lamp which removes the darkness around so uh, tamaso jyotirmagaya that means remove the darkness that is what is guru also guru gu is uh, the uh, darkness and then the one who removes the darkness is guru so all the teachers here i hope you remove the darkness in their children's mind and uh, yesterday i interacted with the two of the students with dipti and many students at that day thanks to dipti and dr kavita pande for the opportunity so i thank god for this opportunity to guide them because i love to guide and inspire young people and i love them i wish i want uh, more love and abundance from all of you and including my staff shubha is here uh, atul is here and sandhya is here and this is how i started when i when my friends i told them i'm starting the hospital in dadar in around uh, march uh, 1990 they told me who will come to dadar dadar is the labor area you can see i created a backdrop like that with aditya jyothai hospital dr bajinath inaugurated it and that is the symbol and later 20 years later one of my friends said it looks like a family planning of india so i changed it and uh, this was the other one we made it a square you can see uh, my great dr bajinath so uh, uh shubha reminds me it is already 30 minutes over so this is what i put in the hospital which is there in the hospital the i changed the gandhi ji's word so i thank i i take uh, because i was the editor also so if you copy it becomes a plagiarism but i am not uh, copied i edited it without uh, gandhi ji's permission that uh, a word uh, the business uh, i i uh, i think customer he put it as customer i changed it to patient a patient is the most important visitor on our premises that is our aditya jay hospital he is not dependent on us he i think it should be he or she we are dependent on him or her he is not an inter she or he is not an interruption in our work he, uh, she or he is the purpose of it she or he is not an outsider in our hospital not business she or he is a part of it and we are not doing him or her a favor by serving him or her she or he is doing us a favor by giving us an opportunity to do so so same thing i thank all of you for giving me the opportunity dr kavita madam whenever you want uh, you can uh, tell me i can stop or uh, interact and uh, uh, dipti you also can interrupt i told uh, so this was started in uh, uh, the ajyot in the other so i that time uh, th- i the topic is dream it so i was dreaming of an eye hospital from the age of 10 because i saw one dr babu rajendra had his own hospital which he took over from dr badina called vijaya hospital and made it so i used to tell my father if you make an hospital you should make like dr babu rajendra but and so thanks to my friend mr shivanandan who told me come on have a facade so that's what i created and be it so this happened in 2004 then next what so you have to keep on changing the goal post so 
what is that goal push that means you want to achieve a, a big hospital you did it the next one so whatever you have uh, like ugwe told the po the kung fu panda you must believe so students you must believe what you want so bring yourself out of the shell that confirms you today that you are poor rich you, go, uh, you are uh, handicapped you are diabetic you are hypertensive or uh, my father uh, didn't know doesn't know english or i don't know english be bold be courageous to read up on your path so do that so i want to tell this this i i stand by even today never submit to unethical trends or what your conscience doesn't permit so whatever it is please uh, don't uh, do anything unethical so like juan in zu said don't waste time calculating your chances of success and failure i'm glad i visited a uh, thanks to dr chima who's here like uh, who introduced me to dr uh, uh, pratiksha professor pratiksha for a, we are going to do an mou with the kalsa college in the nfb uh, and thanks to the principal dr kavita madam for uh, doing work with the the clinical bioanalytical chemistry because i want to work all with all of you and thanks to dr nair who is the principal of uh, vivekananda education society institute of technology which is the vivekananda engineering college in chembur so just fix your aim and begin so my aim is to get nobel prize so and i also have as i told you when i was a college athlete sound mind in a sound body and thank to dr my friend mr shivanandan who actually made uh, all the time do exercise for the last 30 uh, 4 35 years or uh, 33 years from the time i have come to bombay so yad bhavam tad bhavati so i fit and i look like 18 year old i am 18 year old so master shifu and i didn't realize why my fellows my fellows means i train i doctors who wants to become a utilitarian surgeon like me so they called me master shifu and i took 6 years to see this movie kung fu panda and thanks to this corona i did that last year so i had enough time so do you know how many times i saw this movie 6 times and what is the number of lessons you learn 11 and it is there in the internet my students please do that if you only do what you can do you will never be more than who you are right now if you are an ordinary student yesterday another student came he told me that uh, his parents want him to get 70% so i told him why not you aim for 90% he immediately told my parents know that i cannot get more i am not telling the name of the student i am sure he is in the group the reason is i told him why not you aim for 90 why any why are you saying that already i can't try this is what i learned from swami chinmayananda in 1977 when i was the general secretary of madras medical college he said if you want to do uh, uh, ba you should aim at M, uh, B, ma and if you want to do ma aim at phd and what he said is you should have outstretched hands to reach if you want to touch the ceiling you'll touch it. jumping jumping you'll touch or you wear a ladder but if you have sky high aim how can you reach you'll never reach that's the idea it doesn't mean you cannot reach and you'll be frustrated you can see how golden temple was created what a what a great uh, uh, thing they have done and uh, the, so this is what uh, this sort of swami ji who came he swami sukhavananda and from uh, uh, so he said life's most urgent question is what are you doing for others same thing swami vivekananda asked they alone live who live for others rest are equivalent to dead body walking and that is why two people who told this are the statues there in indian ocean where they meet uh, bay of bengal and arabian sea and you can call uh, and uh, so uh, they, that's why i do camps and from day one i'm doing service free clinic in mahalakshmi temple siddhi vinayak temple and all over mumbai ima uh, lions club leo club any club you may know i have done that award so as famously said by bruce lee i know everybody knows bruce lee knowing is not enough we must apply willing is not enough we must do so friends we should do whatever you want and this is a philanthropic aspect of ophthalmology and i want to introduce my good friend aishwarya everybody is happy to see everybody class information and joking never too busy for a cause of benevolence and uh So she is uh, uh, she is the brand ambassador for uh, eye donation in the world, and she has uh, pledged the eyes, and uh, she is supporting the Aditya Jyoti Bank. 
The next is a great friend, that is Dr. Kalam. And when he was a ISRO chief, then, then the DRDO, and then uh, when he did the first uh, launching of the, uh, in the Pokhran project, uh, the, the, so I actually had, was admired and I didn't realize he was a good friend of Dr. Badinath. So once in, uh, before he became president, I told Dr. Badinath, I want to meet uh, this uh, Dr. Abdul Kalam, can you introduce me? So happened, he was a chief guest in a function, he was not a president at that time, and he told, uh, you can come, you can spend 15 minutes with them, I'll introduce you. You won't believe, in the stage, he told, uh, he, he got up his seat and gave me his seat next to Dr. Kalam and said, you meet him. And he told, uh, he's my best uh, student and I'm glad, I can never forget that. Can you believe, instantaneously we became friends, not only because uh, he hails from Rameshwaram, which is a beautiful place, and I hail from Madurai, which is only a few kilometers away. And uh, I always tell India is sharp with the tip and we both are from there. We are sharp here. So I think uh, there's nothing, uh, no, po no point, but don't have comment. But I think you should know you're sharp. So he visited us as a president of India in 2005. Perhaps I am very happy uh, to Aditya Jyotahi Hospital to visit. Uh, you know, this interest kept me to visit here. So he told me that uh, he sent a patient to me and then uh, that's how I, when I treated him free, he said, what do you want? I said, I want you to come meet my staff. He did that, no function, nothing. As the president of India, he came and, uh, and this is a research. We have a lab, which I'm uh, doing an MOU. I, I hope to uh, shift the lab to Kalsa, Kalsa College. I think we have about a half a crore worth of instruments. I hope Dr. Pratiksha is on the, this board and thanks to Dr. Chima. And I think it's a godsend. Uh, I met Dr. Chima in a Sri Sundar restaurant where she enjoys her coffee and tiffin. And I also enjoy. So I'm a secretary general of Global Hygienic Consortium. What does that mean? So we are all working in the uh, internationally. My friend, the tall Japanese guy on the one end, and the other end is me. And in between are the top world experts from National Institute, All India Institute of Medicine, and everything. I mean, my friend, all of them, and there's so many of the group. And that's a group photograph taken in Tokyo, where we are actually make an MOU with the Tata Inst sorry, National Institute of Sensor Organs in Tokyo. And uh, he's a molecular scientist. And that's my dream, to find a gene to cure uh, or uh, find a genetic uh, editing and gene engineering, genetic engineering, and do uh, uh, treatment for uh, the inherited retinal blindness and the leadership. So uh, I'm glad uh, that myself and my mentor are the two, only two people who are elected to the Retina Hall of Fame. What does that mean? They, it means that, uh, and I, I was the president of All India, you know, the chairman of Aritya Jo, managing trustee of a foundation, that's leadership. But Albert Einstein is my friend. Many times I think, why he doesn't comb his hair, but anyway, that irritates me, but it doesn't matter. The intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is a faithful servant. I read this again and again. I made Shubha read it again. And yesterday I told her, we have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. So Dipti, I'm going to ask you a question and please take a screenshot, read it again and again. And uh, the Padma Shri was given and I think it's all right. So I want to thank Shamak Davar, who was again introduced by uh, Dr. Mr. Shivanandan, he has this four piece perseverance, perfection, uh, pers patience, prayer, and uh, also one more add persistence. And this four is from the S Dance group from uh, uh, Shamak Dabar. And precision as a microsurgeon, I handle retinal tissue and uh, tissues over the retina of 40 micron sensitivity. So you're all analytical chemistry students and maybe whatever commerce and uh, physics and then uh, um, uh, whatever BMM and so science, arts and commerce. But I want to know thousand microns make one millimeter. I handle 40 micron sensitivity and do the surgery. Thank God for the just or the things given to me in my hands. And that's why I can operate. And so this is just to say my I'm standing next to my friend Ron Yeo. The reason I put this picture is they are my friends from Singapore and uh, they are all know me from 1990. And Ronald Leo always uh, told me, Dr. Natarajan, I'm always happy to see you smiling and standing tall. The reason is he told me, you are the most well-dressed ophthalmologist in the world. I actually dress to kill. I'm a 
trend setter and yesterday i gave my new uh, suit for my fourth uh, september camp with kalsa college and leo club in dadar and matunga a new suit i'm going i wear and I, that fellow asked me are you going for a fashion show i said yes so smiling and standing tall up emphasizes positive thoughts you have it will reduce stress and improves self esteem so be proud like me and don't be act proud and the problems of life are not really out there they are on here everything is decided in and by the mind if you want your hospital like look like a, a, a management institute that's what i have created i have wanted a hospital which should not have hospital smell we should not look like a hospital we should look like a an uh, ultra modern uh, american hospital that means what looks modern uh, instruments are modern technique is modern the skill is modern but you have to have the human touch so i have a i hospital ayur tejotai hospital whether it is here or in dharavi in the foundation where we have marble we have uh, whatever uh, all the best instruments whether it is a uh, dharavi treatment i am doing free or in the van or in the hospital the uh, technology the doctors are same but the the look is fantastic uh, that's my dream and i hope with the leo club they are doing a remarkable job in ra colony and they promised me they'll take me but they were today they went and did a camp but they didn't take me so my complaint to dipti and uh, now i want the uh, dharavi to be clean i know they are doing slum rehabilitation act 1992 rajiv gandhi the late prime minister promised but still the dharavi is like that and that's why i have a clinic i want to clean it they are claiming it will become like dubai i don't know when why wait for the government why not we do it i know the municipal commissioner mr chahal but i if you clean it up i think he'll be happy we'll do that so training i think students i want you to know what is mirror neuron then skill transfer practice wet lab simulator what is mirror neuron i i learned it when it comes to mastering a skill time is the magic ingredient the difference between those who succeed and those who don't is not simply a matter of determination but more of trust and faith and the um, so the so in this i want to tell the mirror neuron is once a neurology experiment one of the a neurology scientist had actually doing a monkey experiment what is that the monkey was tied up like this and uh, with the hand like that and then uh, the uh, experiment was uh, electrodes connected in the brain and studying about sleep and whether he, when the fellow is not doing anything so every time at whatever time 11 o'clock he was taking a coffee and drinking but the monkey did not have coffee but uh, the, the, you you left to do what you want so this is the monkey was seeing every day and then you know what happened one day he didn't have the coffee but he went got up at 11 o'clock to i think bring the coffee cup you know by the time he came the monkey was doing the this like this action we didn't have a cup also in the hand that is mirror neuron what is that you see one uh, technique uh, somebody is doing it is like i learned typing like that without realizing what is mirror neuron so i passed my typing exam when i was in 6th standard that means uh, how many years old uh, shubha whatever age 15 no not even 15 12 13 so the mirror neurons are there for uh, where you practice without practicing you see somebody doing and it will register in your brain and the neurons will develop and similar things skill transfer you practice again in the wet lab so i am actually going to greece because i am a great teacher in retina so they are having a wet lab they have a simulator and i am only going to teach 15 students for that they are paying me to come and that's why all about mastery and uh, uh, fear is equal to death and courage is equal to faith is equal to strength this is what swami vivekananda taught me and so we have a, a lab uh, this is a publication we are ahead of google diagnostic accuracy using offline ai and uh, i also did a, a work in kashmir where i treated a lot of patients with the pellet injuries and you can see this is how the kashmir looked in 2016 deserted but nothing i don't have any fear for anything in life and uh, this this was an article done where i can see my son and daughter and me wearing a same t-shirt thanks to again uh, retina hall of fame and uh, why i'm showing this is the dr van helms holds in uh, 1851 found the instrument called ophthalmoscope jules gonen found uh, the retinal detachment can be treated and we have a disease called stargardt named after him and this guy alvar garstrand he's the only guy who uh, i doctor who got a nobel prize and he's the guy who prevented uh, einstein from getting a nobel prize from 20 uh, sorry 1921 he got it in 
1922. So my question to the student is, why did uh, Einstein get the Nobel Prize? What is the reason? And these are the stalwarts in retina. I am glad along with them, myself and my mentor, Dr. Badinath are there. So we are also doing the same screening through teleophthalmology to prevent diabetic blindness called the stop blindness. In Hindi, I call it Jot Se Jot Jalao. Thanks to Echo India, thanks to Teleophthalmic Society of India, now the, both the things are merging with Leo Club of Khalsa College to do this uh, low cost screening devices at anywhere in Mumbai, starting with the other state railway station and Matunga railway station, which is the only railway station run by totally women. And uh, this is what we are going to create with the Leo Club. And this is my staff, thanks to my foundation uh, staff, where they go to door to door. And this is the uh, one which uh, right, we can see this boy takes the camera into the thing and then sets up and then checks the retina. So this is what we are creating in uh, our array colony for the... Uh, so and we created a Guinness record, thanks to my staff and uh, Remedio and also Roti Bank. We gave uh, free uh, thing, diabetic people to the uh, diabetic uh, food to the... So this is how we can attach the mobile camera, uh, mobile, uh, I went to an infrared device and take retina photograph. And that's what, uh, this is my best friend, Shivan, who, who, who gave a talk for my Padma Shri, and he started this Roti Bank. You can see the former uh, director of CBI, Mr. Karthikeyan, who investigated Rajiv Gandhi assassination, Mr. Shivan, and then the man who cleaned uh, the Mumbai in the, during the thing. And uh, uh, where we can see we are distributing outside Cancer Hospital and Tata Hospital. So, uh, so we have created, and then I learned uh, from uh, uh, Einstein. So I'm glad he's checked uh, well. This is, I think, when he got the Nobel Prize, somewhat he has come this year. Creativity exists as one of the most important human resources. It permits us to look past what exists and discover new ways of thinking. And oftentimes, the limit of knowledge is nothing more than our collective inability to observe the world and ideas in a new way, Albert Einstein. And the persistence, years of dedication, I, I want to remove the word frustration and put uh, uh, work with passion and failure is a stepping stone, usually predate success. Only those with enormous amounts of persistence can work past these obstacles from Daniel Kahneman to Malala Yousafi and Nobel laureates persist when others give up. And that's what happened. 2005, uh, Einstein proposed the theory and published in a, a very ordinary journal, but uh, sorry, in uh, 1905. And he got his, uh, he was nominated in 1921. And luckily he was nominated for two things and he was, not, and he was given for the one which published in 1905. And the multidisciplinary expertise, that's why I'm with Dr. Uh, Pratiksha, the principal of Kalsa College, principal of uh, Vesit Engineering, then Dr. Kavita Pandey, then uh, Dr. Chima, botany professor. So this is again, uh, this is uh, Martin Luther King III, the leadership quality. The recipient of the Nobel Prize needs to have vision in order to drive their project forward for the right reasons. Uh, that's why the Alfred Nobel introduced the Nobel Prize and the Nobel laureate needs to be able to envision not only how the world will benefit from the project of years to come, how a, like a, every human being will be benefit. And thanks to Dr. Uh, Abdul Kam who gave me this book, uh, Tibetan Lama's Guidance for Caregivers, The Medicine and Compassion by Choki Nimya Rinpoche and Dr. Uh, David Schlem. And that's what I practice. So this is what Swami Vivekananda said. They alone live, who live for others. And my friends, I live for all of you. Thanks to my alma mater, for my father, my grandfather. So you can imagine, probably I'm reborn as somebody from the same compound. And that's how I'm able to do the service from day one. And salute India for this uh, great contribution of Tone the Glorious Years of Modern Indian Ophthalmology and to Shushusha for starting the first eye surgery and collaborating with Guru Nanak College, uh, NFB Department, Leo Club of GN Kalsa College, Institute of Chemical Technology, Vesit. Everything is in the vicinity. So my friend from London uh, termed this area as a verdant font of youth. What does that mean? We have more than lakh trees and more than lakh students and we have young professors like me. And that was the title given to me last month. Is there a Nobel Prize to be won in ophthalmology? Yes, which I will do it, which I did it on May 7th. And what can we do to make a difference? 
let's explore some valuable lessons which our friends from the movie king kupanda have taught us while comparing the same with some lessons from my own life we have the power to choose how we are going to react to our predicament this is an opportunity to reflect learn and grow to be a better version of ourselves so the movie is about the poor the poor dreams of achieving great feats in kung fu and being a part of furious five the best kung fu team in china and if you want a different result stop doing what you are doing right now and i want you to do that that to be different and that to go out of the box you do not have to follow the crowd if you do what most people do you will get what most people get hence think outside the box and be different and uh, so lead the way and transform your way so your mind is like the water my friend when it is agitated it becomes difficult to see but if you allow it to settle the answer becomes clear so lesson number 5 to make something special you just have to believe it's so special and that's what i started also and there is no secret ingredient that's what is the whole kung fu panda is about so please see that and lesson number 6 you must let go of the illusion of control so don't control your thinking be what you are and get ready to dance with danger so i went to uh, bosnia where there was a problem i went to assam when there was ulfa i went to uh, sri lanka when there was ltte and i went to kashmir and i why not and i think everywhere i go i spread peace so learn to dance with the danger and this is in uh, south america the yesterday and today and tomorrow so in order to become a successful person you want to you must learn to level up yourself through the hardships i won't call it hardship uh, the passion uh, the, with love that are there to test you understand that failure rejection so called setbacks and challenges will come learn to da- uh, uh, dance with your problems and not run away from them learn from your mistakes and failures never give up and keep moving forward lesson number 8 your real strength come becomes from being the best you can be who you are, are you what are you good at what makes you you and your strength comes from you doing your best and lesson number 9 you are the master of your destiny you can imagine that swami vivekananda told in 1898 and no one and nothing can come in between you and your destiny except you take destiny by the horns and have fun my friends the and then uh, this is what i told as a thing and and this is there in uh, uh, om shanti om when you want something all the universe conspires if i use the word conspires in helping you to achieve it paul coelho said and lesson number 10 embrace your house house and i hug yourself all the time and my daily routine so i i get ready this is my surgery that uh, and your story may not have such a happy beginning but i had a happy beginning what but that does not make you who you are it is the rest of you you who you choose to be you may be born in a village you may be born in dharavi you may be born in madurai like me and i was born in a government the general hospital and that's called the erskine hospital so what you know you are not born in that and you say this is my daily uh, the gym exercise i do and uh, the and then uh, thanks to dr anamika chauhan don't let your mind stop you from achieving she's great and that's my team my family you can see shubha and this is my fellow dr sandhya dr uh, nidhi and i also appreciate everybody who works well so again swami vivekananda's quote and uh, so padma shri was there. and then this is the seven secrets of so which i already told about paul kohlho and then follow the secret that means same yad bhavam you become what you think so i want to tell uh, last part where i would request the leo club and entire uh, fraternity or uh, that is the students of uh, leo kalsa college please take part in the august 25th to september 8th national eye donation fortnight by government of india join the leo club of kalsa college in our attempt to contribute to the campaign participate in the contest for photography with the tagline aiming awareness for eye donation and the best shot and tagline will be rewarded with amusing prizes by me and thanks to leo sartak punde given by again uh, uh, leo uh, dipti uh, the grassroots leo national archery gold medalist and leo prerna okay vice president of leo club the karate black belt i requested her to be my uh, uh, bodyguard and dr sandhya Uh, who's from the city called Chand- Chitranjan, and uh, my, uh, my student called me Master Shifu. I don't know why, but I want you to find out why and take this opportunity to thank uh, all of you for a patient listening. I know I crossed my limit so many times. Uh, um, uh, Shubha reminded me. I apologize for the delay. no worries thank sir thank you so much thank you so much for such a brainstorming session and you have left all of us again tongue tied as always 
so um without i think further ado everyone each one of us must have doubts their opinions their thoughts about it so uh, as you all have promised that you all will be having a q and a session with sir so post your uh, doubts your opinions your thoughts in the chat box and we can have aslam um, reading them all to the sir yeah okay I see a lot of lines club. Put your, and, put your question, please. You may also raise your hand. Uh, as I have raised, if I am allowed, can I ask a question? Yeah. Yes, Pratamesh. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, uh, sir, uh, without any doubt, it was. An amazing brainstorming session. I hope everyone has taken some spark from the great fire of service that you have lit. I had a question, basically, sir, uh, related to uh, research, sir. Now uh, you are an honorable uh, person in the science uh, network. So, sir, we wanted to know, sir, as students of science, what can we do to achieve a great heights? As you have, sir, I also have a dream to, as I have discussed with you, to get the highest civilian award of the country and you are on the track you have achieved the uh, steps so sir if you could guide us all what is what is the uh, like what are the important things which we, we should focus to uh, get uh, to greater heights as a student yeah so you are a science student and any student has a research so i split the word research into re and search that means everything is available in the universe only thing you are searching again and again new treatment like alexander fleming found penicillin then uh, ronjen found x ray everything was accidental because they were doing something some experiment some research that means researching and you have excellent research facility in uh, kalsa college i compliment mr bawa the chairman of uh, gurunana college and all the professors there so i want to quote the secret book people think about what they don't want and attract more of the same and i modify it to say people think about what they don't want what they fear what they worry what they like what they don't like and attract more of the same so what you should do as a student to achieve like, like me as a, your question whatever you want that means whatever you want to be for example the highest civilian award or want to be the best researcher or you want to some new treatment or you want to do something so great but you aim something you land the where something that's why i use the word you work with outstretching hands that means you aim for finding x ray you will find the y ray there are so many things were found while they were working on various electromagnetic radiation x ray is one of them so something are infrared and something is ultra blue i don't know whether you uh, you know what is the meaning so vibgr is in the visible spectrum there is a thing which is before and after same thing is what lord shiva did it in varanasi the starting and ending he doesn't know and that is what is life so the, uh, what is the visible spectrum and what is the invisible that's where infrared cameras came then uh, this uh, blue light came and we found out that blue light is harmful to retina and green wavelength is good for retina and all that is there in the past they used to tell walk in the green grass you take lutein and zeaxanthin and everything is research so you as prathamesh your question is valid and i hope every student understands this you want to achieve nobel prize you will get it the problem is first thing is sir will i get it then you are you are not going to get it why because the question itself has the answer will i get it means you have a doubt so once you have a doubt you have a so that uh, robin sharma says if you have a doubt and he says you have to be punished what is the punishment in himalayas you have to go to the coldest water in the himalayas and take bath what does that mean you freeze to die almost you have to get down in the water and come back nobody will die with the, going into the bath but the uh, the, uh, the stevens uh, is the advocate asking him why so much punishment for a simple or negative thought he said no the negative thought is a luxury for a person if you are a monk no luxury of having negative thought you have to have stand still means stand so same thing i want the nobel prize i don't have any doubt only thing i don't know what i'm going to find and what i'm going to get the nobel prize for i am aiming at genetic engineering i am aiming at artificial retina 
I am eating retinal stem cell. Something I will get, but I will get. I hope I have answered your question, Pratmesh. Yes, sir. Any more question? Yeah, sir. I should say that now, inspired from you, I will always say that I will get the highest civilian award. Thank See, you so much. Sir. The three idiots you have to follow. Award should not be the only aim in life. See, I, I think the our idea is you have follow excellence. Everything will follow. Whether you want award, and I see like now I come to a stage. I'm beyond awards, but still I apply because wherever you have to do your duty, you have to do. But that's okay. That's for the team as a leader. Whether you, whatever somebody can call it selfish doesn't matter. Don't worry about what others say. But you have to be follow the norms of the law of nature. That means respect the elders. Every day I fall down uh, in the flat on the, in front of God, so that I, my head, even though I keep my head up high as an Indian, but every day I bow down to the Mata Pita Guru Mitra Deva. Any more questions? I want a Lions Club person, your sponsor, to ask some question or comment, and also Leo Club president has to ask, no, whatever she has not asked till now. We also have Anushri, Anushri Patil. She is the district president of uh, the Leoism. So, uh, if Anushri, you have some questions or any Leos from the this thing or specifically college students uh, from Khalsa College, any questions? Because this is a wonderful opportunity. Uh, bag it or you won't get it again. So, we have a young doctor, Abhishek Sajdeva from uh, Jammu and Kashmir. I don't know whether he can unmute and Say something. Yeah, Anushri is the name is I see. Yes, Anushri. You want to say something? Uh, attendees can type in in the question and answer box. Aslam, there are some questions mm -hmm. there. If you could yeah. just have a screen. No, there is no such questions. Q and A. No questions. No questions. Thank you for coming. No, there is. Uh, so, Suleika, how is the asked, Yeah, what is the photographic yeah. concept about? Uh, can you elaborate? I think uh, Dipti will elaborate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, Suleika, ma'am. Uh, basically, um, since that uh, week, uh, 25th to 8th, is uh, recognized as the eye donation awareness fortnight. So, uh, we are just putting out a contest where you are expected to capture a shot of your own interest and you can put a tagline to the same. But it should resonate with the idea of um, eye donation awareness. So, basically, um, a shot and a tagline that will, uh, you know, uh, motivate people to pledge your own eyes. So that is the basic idea. And for further more concrete details, uh, you can follow our page on Instagram and we will be posting it uh, there. So um, stay tuned. Yeah, I hope I've expected, uh, I've answered your uh, question. Okay, you can, also send you can also send a mail or something. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. that will be given. Yeah, the second question, anonymous attendee is how to stay motivated during difficult times. I think uh, I had a lot of uh, turbulence in life, which I'm not elaborating, but I think continuously I was uh, motivated because I had great people like uh, Shivanandan after I came to Bombay, before that Dr. Badina, before that my mother. So I think my grandmother, so many people were there, but whenever I had a problem, my friends were great. And I think uh, continuously, I think I never had a any depressive moment, even though I became depressed only last year because of my grandmother. And uh, otherwise, I was never depressed. So I think uh, even if you are depressed, you can get out of it. Eat uh, three times a day chili like me. And then Prerna has asked, sir, as a student, our mind always jumps to different thoughts because it becomes difficult to keep focus on one aim. So how should we stabilize our mind? Mind is a monkey. It will jump. So that is where uh, I actually was telling you, people are creating a uh, butterfly power, but I asked a question to Ratmesh, how will butterfly come and sit on you? He didn't know. What I'm trying to tell, butterfly is equal to happiness. And if you want happiness, you cannot chase it. If you chase the butterfly, it will never sit. So, wherever you have a butterfly garden, you go and lie down. And you have to be awake. That means, you have to be awakingly lying down there without sleeping and without moving. 
So even the breathing should not be realized by the butterfly. Then automatically it will come and sit on you. And that's what the plants do. That's what the flowers do. When the flowers move, it may spread the fragrance. So I think you have to learn meditation. I know it's too early to learn meditation, but you can learn focus. So I recommend that movie, Ek Ajanabi by Amitabh Bachchan. And he was a guard in that movie for a girl, 10-year-old girl, whom uh, all the time comes second in the swimming competition. And then he finds out that uh, he, that girl will cry and she goes in depression. And she will tell, I don't know why, uncle, I, I come second. So then he says, okay, let us analyze. So what, when he analyzes, he says, ready, set, go. By the time this third count happens, the gunshot happens, stuck. And then the tuck, she goes one step behind, then goes into the swimming pool. So instead of having 10 seconds or 11 seconds, the fastest swimmer, she lost that one second in that going one, one step back. So he says, just become deaf, become focused. He says, focus, focus, focus. He says, ready, one, two, three, you know, you know the count, you jump. So he did that. And if you see Usain Bolt, his start is amazing. And I think he's amazing. I, I think he might have worked. So I, other question is uh, Preeti Shri. Sir, in your journey, did you feel like giving up at some point? How did you handle it? How to face the rejection? No. And I've been ridiculed for my color in school so much. And I've been ridiculed uh, as a whatever, I don't know, so many things in the college, in the medical college. And I was a, uh, like a Mr. Bean, the center of uh, uh, what do you call them? Ridiculing. Everybody ridiculed me for my dress, for wearing a tie. I was the wearing only guy, medical student, wearing tie, except professor. So everybody will pull my tie. Are Nati, you are wearing. Aslam, there are some more questions if you could address them. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, sir, the next next question is uh, Hello, sir. I think there is some network issue. For me? Yeah. The next next question is how do you keep yourself positive? I have very hard time doing that. So you are already you law of attraction, Alicia. That uh, you are using the word hard time. I call it a, 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 a precious time by saying that. When you have a difficult time, that is the time it's a stepping stone for you. So same question again. Uh, for that, I keep reading. So I keep reading about Dr. Kalam, Dr. Swami Vivekananda, meet a friend like Shivanandan, and also have a good uh, person like uh, Shubha next to you all the time. Uh, she will tell, don't worry, sir. Why are you worried? Everything will happen well. Today also she told me. Correct? Right? Well, no. Why not you look at them? Sir, so next, next question is, when can we expect cure of lazy eyes in adults? When can you cure? Expect so, cure of lazy eyes. Yeah, yeah. So Abhishek Agarwal has asked that question. I am telling that you should prevent it. And it's easy to prevent it at the age of five. So it's the mistake of the parents. They don't check the eyes of the children. So it's a very good question. So best is prevention. Prevention is better than cure. So a lot of treatment is, uh, research is going on. I hope Indians are also doing research. I know that. But we don't have an answer today. So that is called research. Research. So next. And what are your favorite books of all time? And that is a Magic of Thinking Big by David Schatz. So the next question is: so, I always get negative thoughts through things I are, are being positive. Some small negative thoughts pops up. So how to deal with such things? So again, Robin Sharma says this, and Power of Subconscious Mind says this. Everybody has ninety-five percent negative thoughts. So first time when I flew in the plane, I, my hands were uh, shivering and thinking that will the plane crash. So it's a negative thought. But luckily, that power of subconscious mind says everything what you want doesn't happen. But even if it happens, it may happen sometime. So best is I tell. Now when I sit in the plane, I'm saving the 400 passengers. When there's a chaos in somewhere, I'm, I'm the uh, savior for that place. So everybody will get... I think there is some glitch. glitch. Yeah, there is some network issue. Uh, Unish, uh, sir, Unish, sir, if you could uh, look into that, please. If anything could be done.
Okay, I think sir will join in again. So, uh, yeah, I hope everyone has enjoyed the session and uh, it was wonderful. Of everyone coming, yes, sir. Yeah, welcome sorry. back, sir. Not the problem. Yeah. Yes. So okay, Aslam, sir. Yeah. Question. Next question is how how can a person aim for a higher goal before sitting and achieving smaller one? From and before. Bef before sit before sitting and achieving a smaller one. Uh, no, I didn't get the question. What is the question? Sir, I repeat. How can yeah. a person aim for a higher goal before setting and achieving a smaller one? Yeah, that is why you have to fo follow the, uh, uh, the what is that? Uh, Harvard University's uh, master ma management uh, uh, for philosophy. Take baby steps. What does it mean? You want to become a CEO of a company? First, you join as a ordinary whatever employee. Then you become the head of the department. Then you become the whatever vice president of the company. Then the president. Then the CEO, something like that. So you have to have baby steps. Whatever is your aim, you have to break down into over ten parts. Then make it. So I wanted to make eye hospital when I was a ten year old. Then I took so many years, twenty-seven uh, years of age, to become a great retina surgeon. Then I was working in Shankaranetra as a four thousand rupee salary. Then I came to Bombay Hospital, earned some thirty, forty thousand a month. Then I started as a job with a bank loan, thanks to Dr. Srinivasan who gave me the loan. So then I started in uh, three small flats in Dadar, made into five, six flats. So I took everything on the rental. In 2004, I got the opportunity to buy this place again with bank loan. So don't be afraid. Even today, I'm on loan, but I know I'll finish it. Okay, sir. So there is no more questions. So we are going to stop uh, QA session. No, but I thought uh, Dr. Kavita Pandey should ask the last question, and Dr. Saranjit, madam, also to ask the last question. Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can definitely ask. Yes, sir. I had a question. Yes, madam. Uh, sir, I usually face this uh, problem that you know these uh, students they are very much packed with energy. Hmm. So, sorry for the background. I'm in college, sir. No problem. Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you. Yes, yes. Yeah, sir. So I was saying that they are very much enthusiastic and they have the energy, but somehow not the mood. Motivation is not continuously high. Goes like chromatography. So my question to you is that make them you know continuously motivated as a teacher. Oh no, well, continuously motivation is so I think. Student. Yeah, no. We, unfortunately, uh, whether students or your employee, I think they want all the time pampering, which is a problem as a teacher or as a chief of the uh, unit or whatever professor. So they need pampering. Uh, that is the problem. I think they all want uh, ladla. So uh, I hope uh, they themselves will understand even if you scold. So continuously motivation is. I think you have to find uh, innovative ways to motivate them. See, I feel the entire Kasa College is motivated now. Atul is here. I don't know whether he is motivated. No, not like that. Whenever I get angry, you people get upset. No, no. What Shubha? Madam. Ask Shubha, no. Whenever I get uh, upset, uh, she tells something. Tell madam. No, explain, no. How do we get motivated? Madam is asking how to keep you motivated. Come on, remove the mask and tell. Are you remove the mask? Yes, ma'am. Please, please. Please tell quickly. What do I tell you? No, no. Today morning also you are demotivated by me. Now how are you motivated again? That is self-motivation. Motiv motivation. Not me. Mm -hmm. Tell them. Because, uh, you know, the arrangements were not, uh, you know... Uh... No, that is not a point. Don't worry about that detail. Yeah. What I'm trying to tell is, when I say something, anybody is getting upset with me. Yes. Even I'm upset with myself. Yes. What do I do? Tell. That's the madam's question. How do we motivate students who wants to be playful? I, I personally believe, like, uh, when you're upset, you should, uh, you know, take a pause. You should not react immediately. No, you're telling the teacher or a student? No, as a student also. And uh, I don't know, teacher, I can't teach. No, 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 you can't teach it. Yeah, I'm learning from you. This is my learning. So whenever you're upset or you're demotivated or uh, you should always take a pause before reacting. 
upset in the sense if the other person is upsetting you you should not react immediately with whatever anger or whatever disappointment you should take a but the problem is i recognize the face and think and, i can uh, read the mind no supposing uh, i mean uh, uh, i am demotivated then i should think of new ways to get myself motivated then at that moment i should think of the good things that person has done to me so that's what the students have to do madam kavita madam i think the answer is clear that uh, even when see madam you will be scolding sometime they are not doing the homework or they have not done what you have said correct kavita madam are you there am i audible yes sir uh, yes, yes sir, sir it was very very helpful sir thank you for the wonderful insights i yes. definitely apply it sir thank you so very much thank you i am facing some technical issue sir some connectivity issues so i am not sure if i am audible i told you you are going to be there till 130 i'll come and see you sure sir yes sir yes dr chima wants to say something dr chima yeah 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 good afternoon everybody madam, yeah everything yes. is happening because of you madam yes sir not because of me the universe is run by someone else sir it's not because of me it is just my association with you sir that is that has helped now yes. so uh, sir i first of all i would like to thank kavita madam for inviting me so kavita has uh, honored me by inviting me otherwise i would have missed your uh, this talk this talk was very very inspirational sir i hope the students get uh, inspired actually i wanted to ask the same question what kavita madam asked yes it's very difficult sir to motivate our own students uh, even my botany students don't get motivated that is why i gave this uh, your contacts to this department because this department is very very active in the leo club yes so, I, so i have a point which i am also learning from you even i keep telling the same my staff is doing this my staff is doing this. i think we both have to change by telling from now all my ajit staff are working perfectly all the foundation are working perfectly including my manager and all the worker including shubha same thing you tell madam from now all the botany students are motivated yes sir and yes sir all the no why i am saying we are only giving a wrong to the universe by yes. telling the truth so yes. 3d space all is well so i i really feel privileged to be there in this uh, talk so only one question more i want to ask you you are such a great personality you have the prize with you and you are so humble ha na yes, and uh, when i have come early in the morning at aditya jyot i have seen you first entering the gate and then praying first at different locations yes one at the entry then one inside ha na what do yes. you say when you pray <laughs> that's my question today and i am feel so uh, happy to see you praying i observed you hari I yes. observed you fully, sir, praying on that day. No, no, I know. No, that I, I met you. you. I am telling you the answer. Actually, after uh, learning about Swami Vivekananda, it's a very good question. Nobody asked me, so I am telling you. The, as a child, I was uh, forced by my mother to pray. Then, as a teenager, I went to uh, temple only to sight sight seeing. And then, uh, as a medical college student, I was afraid I will uh, because my father failed because of sports, so I wanted to pass exam. So I was being matlabi with God. Then, after becoming a doctor, uh, I realized uh, so many things are not in your hand. Even though you know the medicine, you know the surgery, you can't save every patient for some reason. But Dr. Badina taught me because I remember once he was doing a surgery on a New Year day, and then he had a complication, first surgery. So I told him. Hey, what sir? What a day! What will happen to the whole year? He said, "What a whole year? Every day is New Year for me. Every day is good day for me. What is the problem? We had complication. We managed it." I said, "All right." So I learned from that day, complication will happen because it is like a brake failure in a car, or like a plane has something. So I think that when I so I, as I, when I started a gum, the Ajitya Jyoti Nighty, I installed a Ganpati because I was afraid of a complication. What is the complication? every surgery i was doing under general anesthesia when the patients don't recover i used to be in tension so i was wondering one day are what is this i have to faith with god and i'm doing everything then why i'm worried then i made a formula if you have faith with god and you have done your duty that is the biggest part which is not there in secret book that is ask receive acknowledge and gratitude is there but in between that word karma is missing i don't know why that uh, ronda bain if i meet her i'll tell her 
she has forgotten to write about karma so karma is what you have to do everything what is required so when i pray i used to ask that i should become an internationally renowned eye doctor which i have become now now i don't know what to ask more so i forget to ask what i want so when i go i only thank my uh, like uh, in the uh, as you rightly said in the front of the um, uh, compound i pray the vastu ganpati then i pray my father mother then my father's father and mother shivanandan then my uh, mother's mother and father then finally god then i come inside i pray balaj but every time i forget to ask what i want because already you are communicating you're having universe and it is there already what is there i want to serve the people i want to remove uh, i made a program i am glad uh, dipti made the group name itself like that which i am making a company called Di- uh, blind free india uh, section 8 company which is getting registered which shubha will follow up today i have to call mr raghumodi thanks to him for making that and she has made a group called uh, diabetic blind free uh, india i think which i told her to do only diabetic blind free mumbai and that is what i am breaking into the other station and madana station the ravi like that i am going to do so baby steps now we are uh, conquered or uh, not conquered whatever we are doing all the bmc center so when i pray i tell i don't ask anything because god knows no everything that so is what and, finally, and, fi- yeah. and finally i carry all this so many gods i carry but swami vivekananda says all that is bakwas what he says is you have to have the god really in the uh, heart in your heart so our body is the temple and heart is the god the problem is irukum madaitha vittu ellarum that means he says to the we have a tamil song he says are you are searching everywhere except where i am that's what god is telling sitting in the heart so and so i pray i am actually doing it for the public like people like you to see because i am praying ganpati publicly i fall flat in ganpati from 1990 now suddenly if i stop that people will think uh, i become uh, what do you call um, no, i'm not bothered about thinking but i want to, i'm conveying that i'm not bothered about god so finally you are the person working with your hands you are the person you are operating or you are the person you are teaching but result is given by god or whatever you call nature uh, cosmic so you the best to the cosmic cosmic will uh, reflect it so, so i am happy read about einstein i all the time in between i had an argument with one of the friend i told him uh, he told me are you like barack obama i said why not i said i may i may be better than him so i don't have any uh, inhibition in me now but that doesn't mean you love headway you have yes. respect uh, for each one eat you know, that's why I, every day i bow down only to remind myself you have to be humble and you are sir i have seen, I have seen this dr padnak doing even now he will open the car door for me as a, i am a student he will say no you are a consultant you have achieved more than me i said no but anyhow now i decide i say i decide okay let me enjoy he will open the door i will wait for it and he will close the door also doesn't matter but either. sir you are humble you are humble you are simple and i also feel very privileged such a short association i have with you it's not a, even a year i have been associated with you and uh, you have trusted me kavita has trusted me the most important thing is kavita has put in all the trust in ma'am, me and always, got back to you always, ma'am yes thank you kavita so much sir one more sentence i would like to say that as you have already given so much inspiration to the students but nothing in this world is impossible to a willing heart so your heart should be willing yeah yes so body mind and soul all yes. three to be yes. willing so thank you so okay. much sir no no i i dreamt of a beautiful bombay when i landed in 88 first time i came to bombay in 1969 and that time with my father for the all india conference and then in 83 i came as a postgraduate student it was like a ocean to me suddenly but you know what i did i i dreamt of uh, bombay like manhattan and you should see that uh, hdr movie made by loda in the youtube and i i wish every student sees it and i think the people who came to my house i showed them the hdr movie made by loda with the 8k uh, technology amazing it looks like new york better than new york and i think you know why it's better than new york because we have made a beautiful minds here and beautiful hearts with the greenery in uh, they have central park in new york but uh, we have uh, our uh, five gardens uh, kalsa college ipt yes. sai yes. uh, ws and uh, aditya jyoti and thanks to all your team sir so wish you all the best sir yes. thank you so, so much thank you shubha for taking all my brunt so i apologize publicly thank you.
thank you thank you shubha and sir gujral and myself are school mates we are classmates dr oh. gujral and myself is yes. where is ik gujral yes sir oh, no 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 ah. no subjit gujral dr subjit oh, okay. gujral yes okay i thought uh, the prime no, no, no. Uh, prime minister dr subjit gujral <laughs> <laughs> okay sir thank you, you so ik much. gujral as prime minister for few days no <laughs> yes thank you so much sir dr vp singh i think okay uh, over to you dipti yes um okay uh, so moving further with the word of thanks since we are already running out of time it's over and uh, so i would like to request uh, dr mariamal muttu ma'am to please uh, come up um, and present the word of thanks yes dipti thank you good afternoon sir good afternoon to all the teachers and all the students here club members here it was a very great session and dipti hats off to your team members to organize this and sir natrajan sir i'm too too impressed with your speech i mean after reaching such a position you can be so humble you set a real life example for us so even if we reach a limit we will surely keep up our humbleness and we will surely um, maintain our uh, character whatever we have right away thank you sir thank you for your wonderful speech and let you aware all the others whoever is not yet like us moving forward to your speech further in other topics to sir with us thank you sir thank you so much uh, maria ma'am also i would like to add a few names uh, i would like to thank uh, leo anushri patel a district president 3231a1 for joining in uh, thank you desha katariya thank you mega patavari utkarsh tiwari yutika banerji and uh, all of the leos and especially the 147 participants that are yet holding on to the session so uh, thank you all thank you it was uh, worth your time and thank you so much natarajan sir for uh, doing this for us and especially especially uh, thank you so much kavita ma'am and chima ma'am for getting us in touch with such a great personality and uh, yeah um, so anything i guess aslam wants to say something aslam over to you hello sir uh, sir your talk was very informative motivational and inspiring yes sir you are 18 yes you are sir i have never seen such a warm friendly person like you thank you so much sir for joining us thanks a lot over to dipti yes dipti okay yeah so i think uh, we can call it off if uh, there are no further uh, suggestions or opinions or thoughts yes uh, kavita ma'am if you can hear me oh hi dipti yeah uh, i think uh, kavita ma'am is facing some internet issue hello can you hear me right ha uh, she yes, was yes, in the yes, meet yes. but i think she is facing some issues because we were not able to hear them and on behalf of our five year ic i will i am also interested to give the vote of thanks because it was really a nice session by such a eminent speaker sir trust me each and every point you uh, taught us today actually mai bola jaye jo aapne samjhaya it was very correct related to god related to books related to every each and quote you used to explain us so thank you so much sir for collaborating uh, with the five year ic on behalf of our department i will again uh, tell you i want to give you vote of thanks thank you so much sir hello dipti are there yes she is muted yes thank you so much sir even i am a faculty here so my name is priyanka sharma sir such a well i can't like sir i cannot even express ki meeting such an eminent speaker sir who be padma shri award it's thank you so much guys ki like you gave chance uh, ki hum ye sab session attend kar sake thank you so much sir for your mot- uh, motivation sir you are in which department sir five year i see sir she is these are our students sir. only yes sir no no which department i said now what i meant five year i see sir uh, five year i see analytical sciences five oh, analytical. analytical sciences yes sir there are our teachers all of the uh, yes. kavita uh, ma'am is the hod and uh, all of the teachers are here faculty right. sir yeah. yes sir Panelists so yeah it was a very teachers. great session i should appreciate you students also and i hope students you have forwarded the feedback link in the chat box so the participants can fill them yes 
also not forgetting uh, i would like yes, to um, uh, acknowledge the presence and also uh, uh, thank you to gujral ma'am uh, chima yes, ma'am yes. swapna ma'am mariamul ma'am priyankal ma'am all of you for having present, yes. for having supporting us throughout the journey thank That's you so much ma'am thank you students thank you to you as well nicely arranged webinar well done so preeti shri is a malayali yeah? she written romba nandri sir <laughs> yes uh, so aslam could you please uh, post the link feedback link in the chat box so that everyone can fill it and also natrajan sir uh, yes, yes. our friend our guide philosopher our guide and also a person who is very young to us but still he is 18 uh, he is 18 he is 18 i know and yes. we are 22 and we, <laughs> yes we are 22 and soon and soon we will be celebrating his 18th birthday on 4th of september with a medical camp and matunga and other stations so just putting it out there so that uh, you all can um, ask people to participate in it and get yourselves examined Aslam is a chat box. Uh, have you uh, posted the link? Mm -mm. Yeah, give me a second. Give me a second. Uh, Prathamesh, if you could do that. Shall I post to Dipti? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, so it has been posted twice for you all. You all can find it in the chat box and uh, give your feedback. Dipti, make an announcement for the certificate as well. It might take three to four days so to get okay. the certificate. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So you all will yeah. be receiving the e certificate uh, within two three days. Uh, no, not longer than that. Uh, so you all can uh, check your keep checking your email IDs for that. we will also post uh, the feedback link in the groups that we have in common so you all can find it there as well so sir concluding remarks from you and then we uh, end the session sir the concluding remarks is from shubha yeah shubha you have to tell yes no please come on mas quickly quickly shubha is continuously telling too much sir stop stop yeah, alarm guy handle all this yeah <laughs> Now tell concluding remarks. Uh, thank you all so much, uh, especially Eco India uh, team. They handled it very well uh, in short. Uh, uh, you know, we gave them a very short notice to arrange all this, and also uh, the peace coordination. And uh, yesterday, this Sarthak, Prerna, and uh, Aslam. It was a very uh, uh, amazing, uh, you know, motivational session. I enjoyed it. Thank you all so much. Anyway, I thank as he as said or as Shubha said, uh, thank uh, Shweta. And also Sandhya, Doctor Sandhya. Yeah, Doctor Sandhya, definitely. And also the Echo team, as he said, uh, the Delhi Ophthalmic Society is a, a young society, and I'm the founding president. Th thanks to Echo India. Thanks to everybody. I hope uh, they also have put it in uh, live, uh, which is there in YouTube. And I hope uh, many will. Uh, and plus, I uh, uh, definitely you can give me whatever points yeah, which I, I can. I forgot to mention Atul and uh, Samir. Yeah, they are uh, they are also doing the Arithi Jyoti Facebook and uh, live. Yeah, also I would like to add on two names. Um, I would like to give them a big shout out. My team members, my vice president Prerna Uke and the grassroots Leo Sarthak Pundey. Thank you so much for helping out, sir, uh, with his PPT. And I know you all have spent the previous day. day yeah, night. yeah, day and night they were there. So kudos to you all and uh, keep. Uh, Uh, so rising the name of our club higher and higher. Is Prerna and Vartak Sarthak? Yeah, yeah, they're they're in, but uh, they cannot uh, really uh, unmute themselves because that is allowed for only the panelists. So they can type it. Uh, they can be allowed by Shweta and uh, Echo people just now also before. Yeah. Uh, so can we? Uh, can we? Uh, what is the name? We have uh, them on uh, yeah. Prerna Uke and Sarthak Pundey. Can you type that in the chat? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Echo India uh, will do. Or where? Uh... So when is the book on your life story coming? Uh, madam, I think I will need. Uh, what is the name? Uh, oh, madam, your answer, Shubha. Shubha will promise now. Ah, uh, Shubha, Shubha. 
if we get uh, good support from uh, this uh, young budding talents from your end we can definitely do this okay okay theek hai any day for natarajan sir who is this prathamesh prathamesh ha prathamesh so uh, echo india can we request uh, prenauke and uh, sartak uh, punde from uh, tendi to be made as panelists for uh, answering ಸಂಧ್ಯಾ one yeah. second sir hmm. am i am i visible ah, yes yes so tell your uh, how was it sir it was really 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 great to meet you and you know spending time with dr sandhya especially you know we were like buddies and uh, yes our uh, mummy <laughs> shubha <laughs> ma'am <laughs> it was really really lovely to uh, you know work under you you all you all, all made me mummy <laughs> yes you all are very no me also you all you all were very you know lovely and friendly with us didn't feel like we were at a new place and thank you so much we loved it okay yesterday you saw the presentation and today you saw the delivery so what is your comment so yesterday what uh, you asked asked me today i got the answers i can okay. say like i heard everything and i was like you know, it felt new you know it didn't feel ki kal humne presentation dekha tha it was very uh, new to listen from you talk your you noted this presentation you know hi dr sandhya <laughs> yeah thanking you so you made us friendly yes <laughs> thank you so much dr sandhya you were a very uh, great mentor to us it was lovely uh, working with you <laughs> oh really but it's the same for me also <laughs> you people help me a lot otherwise it will be difficult to edit this podcast it was mutual in fact huh. we also mutual. enjoyed yeah. <laughs> no no what uh, what's her name prerna uh, 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 when you when you said uh, when you told uh, like when uh, suddenly she said no i cannot do all this editing alone and i am glad in one second you told i'll be there so which is yes, great sir, yes, otherwise she was yes, losing her uh, confidence yes sir yes sir <laughs> oh yes that is a selfie uh, while working <laughs> we took a selfie yes thank you so thank you uh, chima madam you are the uh, root cause for all this and that dr kavita really thank you, you just wanted to come her to come and uh, So now I'm uh, madam uh, Dr Chima madam are you there in uh, hospital uh, sorry in the college no sir i'm at home okay any anyway, doctor kavita madam is on the kavita the is in the college yes kavita is in the college i'm going to meet uh, kavita kavita now okay okay sir so i have blocked my time till 2 o'clock yeah even principal yeah. sir may be there when you go even principal sir will be there i hope he will have yes. time every time when i go is busy no you can always go and meet him no no i told pratiksha madam but every time she found he was busy okay you no know, ravita can find we are coming there madam yes you tell her in advance that you are coming at this time then sir can be made no, free no, i am going to leave in another 10 minutes okay i'll tell her so i'll tell her nothing yeah. no right now you can come with me no to go to kalsa college no okay any anyway, of she is doing a duties first okay that's Sunday important yes yeah. that's important ha uh, and i will be oh aslam is written he is in the college okay aslam then we should meet uh, dr uh, pratiksha sure sir sure sir so is she is there in the college yes she is sir actually i am no, just i am um, i'll leave after the session sir the call is it will take 10 to 15 minutes to reach no problem no problem anyway thank you all really i think i enjoyed i know i crossed the time limit but i think uh, i have as a one point for dipti as a president dipti dipti yes sir yes sir i was thinking uh, we should do for the uh, whatever the multiple leo clubs of uh, whatever uh, in and around you with your sponsor uh, main lions club as a, a smaller session so that only one topic we can take in the sense of my life and then elaborate to them so that uh, 
uh, even, even, I feel so much I want to tell, but at the same time, time is a problem. Not a problem. No worries. We can, we can have another session. We would love to have. We'll have a physical I, session now, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. We'll have a physical session, sir. No, no. I am telling monthly we have one. Monthly. Till the time we are present. Okay. Okay, sir. As you wish. And every time it should be different. Not the same thing. Of course. ஸ்டேஷன் மாஸ்டர் No, not Sheshi Sheshi Master, Master. no, 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 that uh, uh, social activist, uh, what's his name? Yes, yeah, yes, sir. Gattani, Vinay Gattani. Vinay Gattani, sir. So we have to make sure he's there for our camp or maybe we should be there. 100%. He, will, he there. will be there. He will be there. Already invited, already agreed to come. Okay, great. No, no, not agreed to come. We have to plan with him what he can do more for the people. Yes, sir. Surely we can do oh. something for Dharavi oh. also, as you said. Right. We will try something. We will initiate something, sir. Right, right. And yes, sir, we are going to take you to RA. Ah, I am. Sure. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. I and promise, the... sir, that next time we will go to RA with them for trekking. Definitely, oh, definitely. Only, <laughs> only if, only if Shubha ma'am agrees. <laughs> Shubha. What? What? I didn't get. Ma'am, only if you agree, we can take sir to RA colony. Yeah, yeah. You can take him. Only thing is, we can leave him. She's telling. Uh, no, no. She's telling. And, uh, no, no. Uh, she's telling. Take me also. <laughs> No, no, we will take you, but you won't take sir back again to the hospital. Then he has to spend time with us. Then is a, uh, I mean, we need to schedule that way. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so we need six hours from uh, sir so that we can enjoy yeah. nature at six its best. Too much too. <laughs> six hours is too much. Yes. So we'll, we'll make it. We'll make it worth it. Yes. Shubham, no, Shubham, no, Shubham, no, Shubham, no, will no, start no, scolding. No, no, Deepthi, where are you now? I am right now at my home, Andheri. Okay. Now, otherwise, I am bringing her to college. You know, you can lock her in the room. <laughs> <laughs> I will do this. I will do. This. Aslam will come to college. It is. So Aslam, <laughs> yeah, Aslam can help. Yes, I will do this. Coming now. Ah, uh, excuse me, sir. We are running a little out of time. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, I, mean, I think we will. We will. Uh, Uh, sure, thank sir. you so much. Thank you so much. On this note, we end the lecture. Yes. yes. Thank, thank you, you very much, much, sir. Thank, thank you for thank joining you so us, much, sir. sir. Thanks a lot. Thank, thank you, India. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, India.